Algebra word problems number 6b, simple interest for a fraction of a year. Okay, we're doing simple interest problems, interest problems, and interest is the amount you pay for the use of money from a bank or the amount that they pay you for having your money in the account. And the principal is the amount you borrowed from the bank or the amount that you have in your account. It's the big chunk of money. Simple interest is the money paid or earned on a principal amount. Look, I'm missing an N. Oh, that's a lot of videos with those. Okay, so to find simple interest, we use the simple interest formula, I equals P times R times T. That's the principal amount, the big chunk of money, times the interest rate, the rate, times the time, the amount of time you borrowed it, or the amount of time you had it in the bank. So first we need to remember how to turn the months into a fraction. There's 12 months in a year, so three months would be three twelfths. That wasn't a big, big deal, was it? Then we need to remember how to turn a percent into a fraction. 8% is equal to 8 of 100, so it's 8 one hundredths. Now we're ready to go. Dave borrowed $500 for three months at 8% simple interest. How much interest will he have paid after the three months? So we need to think. What do they want us to find? Ah, the total interest paid. Now how do we plug the numbers into the formula I equals PRT? Well, here's the principal amount, the $500, okay? 8 over 100, we know, is our percentage rate, all right? And the 3 twelfths is the 3 months, all right, that we converted into a fraction. So now we've got 500 times 8 over 100 times 3 twelfths. And we write it out like this. We can see the 500 and the 100 cancel themselves out as a 1 and a 5. And the 8 and the 12, 4 goes into 8 and 4 goes into 12. There's two 4s and an 8, so we put that as a 2. And there's three 4s in the 12, so that's a 3. So you see what happened to this one? It became a 3 thirds. And do you remember when a numerator and denominator are the same? It becomes 1. So we don't need to multiply this by 1, do we? So we just need to worry about this part of the problem because he just turned himself into a 1. So now we've got 5 times 5 over 1 times 2 over 1. 5 times 2 is 10. 1 times 1 is 1. We've got 10 over 1. That's 10. And because we were dealing in dollars, the amount of the interest paid is $10. So we know for the three-month period, Dave will pay $10 in interest. That wasn't hard, was it? It's just 3 twelfths. Is three months out of 12 months. So just remember to turn the months into a fractional parts of the year and make sure the interest rate becomes a fraction too because you can't multiply a percentage or a decimal by a fraction. They need to be the same. Decimal, decimal, fraction, fraction, okay? So he needs to follow along and become a fraction also, all right? So he becomes eight one hundredths or whatever your percentage is as a fraction, all right? I'm going to see you next video. I'm going to talk about some more simple interest problems. All right, I'll see you there. Bye.